I don't think it would be a good idea to barge into Max's office while he's meeting with Nick. up my blade. I don't want to mess up my blade. That ought to keep the food from getting away. That monster upstairs is running me ragged. Oh, but monsieur, je suis très désolé. There are no guests allowed in the kitchen. I must ask you to leave. In a minute, Leroy. Raoul. Somebody, please open the door! <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I seem to have uh, locked myself in this teeny tiny room. I am actually very close to a phobic, so if somebody, uh, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, oh, let me out of here! Immediatement! Oh, oh, oh. Run! Hey, I'm thirsty. Where's that waiter? That does it. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, fruity, but voluminous. If I let that waiter out now, he'd have me eight balled from the club. Nah, if I let... Nothing. Nothing. The can... The can opener wouldn't work there. The can opener wouldn't work there. Sleeping on the job. Ah, it's empty. Ah. Ruben, where are you? Aha! Oh, mon dieu! Take a little nap. A vu, eh? Well, le keg is le empty, so too sweet, Buster. Yes, monsieur. Merci anything you say. Et oh, more wine. Oh, I'm going to fire him for ignoring my pleas, and then I believe I shall quit. Oh, I can never look at that pantry again. No man should ever be locked up in such a small, dark place.
Dale's meal. It's full of double-end tickets. This could get a hundred souls on the number nine train. Something's not right about this. I get the feeling this suitcase belongs to someone more important than Chow Chilla Charlie. All right, Manny. Give me the case. Charles, I thought we had a bargain. No, we do. But I thought I'd bring some muscle along just in case. What's the matter, Chuck? Can't afford to hire goons to do this sort of work for you? I'm all the goon I need. Now drop it. You said it, boss. Got a card for me? Here. Welcome to the union, Manny. Meetings first Tuesday of every month, and, uh, don't forget to pay your dues. Don't forget to pay my dues. <laughs> it under your desk. Unattended? Yes. Oh my god. Give me that! It's a bomb! Ha <laughs> 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 Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. <laughs> I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, it's probably the key to some terrorist hideout. If you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. You sure you're not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Rules are rules. And of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. Or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? They have such a great texture. They're all wrinkled up like my Grandma Hedwig's face. Oh, Speaking <laughs> poor of metal Grandma detectors. Hedwig. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? Yes. What is it with you and this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. Bye, Carla. Drop dead! Well, 
That's the hole I saw Carlos' metal detector fall through. Oh, no. Scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. My scythe. My scythe. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. My scythe. Aha! Stinky, but it could be worse. And if I go in? You don't want to go in there. I haven't cleaned up yet. Just the dab will drop you. Hey, man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to poor. 